Yeah, sliding back into that center back role, says Tata Martino pregame, saying that he has played there before. He can slot right in and still control the pace of the game. And he is the key piece to really trigger this offense and get things going. Only two goals on the season, zero assists. He's got to find a way to get this team rocking offensively. Necessarily didn't give it their all in that game against Red Bulls. Meanwhile, for Nick Cushing and company, They've got a lot of work to do, but they believe that they can accomplish their goals here in 2024. It's just one of many stats that we'll continue to take a look at as this age of analytics continues to dominate. It's this one over the head of Bacar. Falls for Santi Rodriguez. Rodriguez sees an opening and a comfortable save for Drake Callender in the end, but a first good look for the undesignated player who hails from Uruguay. Suarez making a run to create some room. Now Gomez. Paraguay International. Great ball towards David Ruiz and Matt Freeze is up to the task at the near post. And that's the first time tonight we've seen the teeth of Inter Miami. A couple of junctures of the campaign in 2023 where they get given up the most amount of goals to Major League Soccer from dead balls. This one's no different as it's Suarez off the delivery from Julian Gressel. Did we expect anything different from the Uruguayan? Suarez back out onto the score sheet. Inter Miami once again through Luis Suarez find himself completely wide open. He positions himself. It looked like one of the defenders goes down just in front right there. You see him on the ground. I believe it's James Sands. He's the one kind of tasked with fronting Luis Suarez. Sands is claiming the two-handed shove, sends him to the turf, and Suarez finds himself wide open with nobody marking him in front. Easy flick on for that man right there. James Sands with a dangerous pass. Jordi Alba reads it. Suarez back for the Spaniard. Alba back into the middle for Gomez. And Tadasiewicz was there to get an important touch with his head. Boca. Here is the Argentine with quick feet. Eluding Hannes Wolf. This taken on the first time. Suarez let it go so Diego Gomez could take a bite. And on for Keaton Parks. Busquets has it covered. Clever little back heel. Jordi Alba getting in on the fun as well. Slip through. It's Luis Suarez again and a save from Matt Freeze to keep it at 1-0. Well, usually the best goal scorer is they unmark themselves with the way they make the runs, either drifting off the defender. Decent ball sent in. Santi Rodriguez on the first time and he absolutely fluffed his lines there. Under the tutelage of John Herman, as this one has slipped through for Bacrar, but Ryan Saylor with good positioning, able to just muscle off the Algerian at the last moment. Alba totally calling off Busquets, was trying to get forward with the give and go. Now things opening up here for NYCFC. They might be in, and NYCFC have their equalizer. It's Alonzo Martinez making his first start in Major League Soccer in his young career. And he's got the Pigeons level in Fort Lauderdale. It's 1-1. And right there, they're going for a little bit of a combination play, but instead it turns over. And it's Wigan who keeps him on side. It looked like Wigan was even with Barcrar on the far side. And that kept Martinez in an onside position. That is a tough angle, and he just drives it home. Drake calendar has got the near post covered. Wasn't going to pass that one off. First MLS start, first goal. Not covered enough, was it? Drilled with the utmost amount of venom. At least try to start the counterattack. Dangerous there from Yannick Bright. Gives it away. Martinez is onside here. Alonso Martinez looking for a second, and Sergio Busquets. The fill-in center back tonight with a terrific challenge, denying NYCFC of the go-ahead goal. I didn't say it. Did you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's why I asked the question. <laughs> Outswinger from Rodriguez. Martins heads it straight down. Oh. It's off the post. McCrar turns and fires, and that one skims wide of the far post. And when you're a number nine, you got to find a way to get on the score sheet to really get that confidence. That's your job is to score goals. He gets the second opportunity header. And it hits the near post. Then he tries to spin around the sideline. Every time the ball goes back to Busquets, he's asking his team to step a little bit more. Five more feet. 
But when the ball finds the middle of the pitch. Suarez, Alba, back for Luis Suarez, and Matt Freeze made the save. I mean, how quickly did that happen? In swinger from Robert Taylor, the Finland international. Ball's kindly here for Suarez, and Freeze makes the save at the near post. Still with NYCFC, though. Rodriguez driving forward with purpose. Sends it out wide. Great little move from Hannes Wolf. Sends it across for Bakrar. And once again, Mutsef Bakrar. The run was there from Gressel, but that was yesterday. In the present moment, it's Suarez. Ruiz lets it run through for Gressel. Has to reset, but delivers a beautiful ball for Suarez. And it's underneath the Uruguayan. Gressel switching the point of attack through Jordi Alba. In towards Diego Gomez making a dangerous run. Gets through Martins. Gomez finding Suarez. Well, it was certainly the right idea. Matt Fariz was frozen, pun very much intended, but Suarez couldn't find the back of the net. Inter Miami looking mighty dangerous here. Suarez wants it back. It's Luis Suarez and a big save from Fariz. Busquets had his pocket picked by Andres Perea. And now Hannes Wolf can NYCFC steal all three. Rodriguez, quick feet, goes with the left, and eventually Drake Callender makes the save. Under Tata since he's taken over last summer. And that's going to do it full time. It finishes in a 1-1 draw between Nick Cushing and Tata Martino.